Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Dui and welcome to the Wooden Railway Iceberg video. Now, to start things, you may be wondering, what's an iceberg train boy? We know that the iceberg crashed the Titanic and sank it, but what's the iceberg video? Well, let me explain you. So the iceberg in the fandoms. With the iceberg, you usually put at the top the most known things about the fandom, and as it keeps going down the iceberg, you put more and more stuff that fan the fandom doesn't know. For for instance, let's let's say I was making an RWS um iceberg. On the top, I'll, I'll put that Thomas has is number one because it was the easiest um number to draw for Audrey, and like in the very very bottom, I put something that barely anyone knows about. Just so you guys get the idea of the iceberg. So I'm doing the exact same thing, but with wooden railway. And I didn't make this all by myself, no, no, no. I got help from some, some, some very cool people on Twitter. Their names are Rainbow Rider, iMagicCarp, and Kublai1969. Thanks to those three people as they helped me a lot with this iceberg. You know, we talk about in Discord, the ideas and all the items we had in mind. We did icebergs, and they actually... Um, I think I Magic Harp is actually making his own iceberg, so I'll probably link to to his channel and all the all of his guys' other channels, so you can guys subscribe and follow them on Twitter if you have one. Anyways, without the way, let's start the iceberg video. All right, so let's start with the very first layer. Now I'm gonna divide this iceberg video into six parts because I, I don't want the video to be too long and then at the end I'll bring all the parts together into one big video. So let's start with the very first layer which is the most common things. White face Charles and truck. As we all know the white face Charles and truck is one of the rarest wooden railway items out there as in fact it was the prototype of the gray face Charles and truck. This item is quite rare as they, they were made produced. At the moment, I only have seen seven, on, all of them all young, owned by Thomas users, and from my understanding, Roy Wilson has more than 10 of these. We don't know how much of these are left, but, the, but everyone knows about these, so that's why I put it in the very top. Six Wheel Toby. As we all know, in 1992, we really started making the Thomas models, and as we all know, Toby originally had six wheels. But it was cut because Toby could barely go through short curves. And even Toby is still even a four wheel engine, he can barely get through those short curves, which kind of explains why they switched from six to four. And that's the six wheel Toby, four wheel Mavis. So, as we all know, Mavis is, uh, her chassis has six wheels. But originally, in her 1992 model, Mavis had four wheels. I'm assuming they switched this to make, it, to make her more accurate. And they're probably going to do the same thing for Toby, but as you all know, Toby can barely go through short curves. So I'm assuming that's why they switched Mavis' wheels. Charleston Brake Fan. Charleston Brake Fan has the white face Charleston truck face, and it's a van. It's quite rare, well not that, not that rare, but people think it is and they put it like for very high prices. But the Charleston Brake Fan nonetheless, it's a very known where well with a railway nine. Weird character packs. As many of us we know, there are we really, really weird character packs, such as Audio Hook with the Solar Sue cars, which doesn't make any sense because there is no Sue in Soldor. Bertram in the scrap cars, which why would Bertram, the old wire, put scrap cars? Is it like hinting that Bertram was originally meant to be scrapped? I don't know, but it's on the list. They are with Thomas. As we all know, Wooden Railway makes They are with Thomas models and each of them was produced every single year. At the moment there hasn't been confirmed for 2022 at the moment, but I'm assuming they probably will, will do one. Tank Engine Bertrand. As we all know, Bertrand was meant to be a tank engine and somehow in the Wooden Railway 4, when they released Bertrand, they actually made him a tank engine, which is pretty cool and is also very not well known. Recalls. As we all know, learning curves suffered due to a lead paint crisis, and many engines were, had recalls as they had the lead paint. Believe it or not, I, one of my friends actually has a lead paint James. I don't know who it was, I can't, I can't remember his name, but I remember him having it, which is really cool. Weird prototypes. As we all know, there were very weird prototypes, such as Bill and Ben having James's face, 
Oliver being in a weird shape and having Thomas's face, Peter Sam being pretty big and having Percy's face, and the green set on Hat's car. Quite a weird prototype if you ask me. 1992 never expert coach with without literally. Believe it or not, in 1992, they made an ex Nafer Express coach, but without the Larry. And fun fact, I, I, I have only seen two, and actually, one of those two Express coaches without the Larry, I own it myself. And I have proof of that. As you can see by this picture by my channel trader, you can see that at the very beginning, when Gordon's passing by, you can clearly see the Express coach without Larry. The other user I know that has this exact same coach is Thompson Railway, aka Keycray. And those are the only two versions of the Snapper Express coach without layering, which is pretty weird if you ask me. But nonetheless, they're very unknown. know. The strange characters inclusion. By that, I mean the characters that were included in sets that didn't make sense. For example, work they all the works included Coley and Scruffy. I don't know why Coley. Scruffy kind of makes sense because, you know, Scruffy was destroyed. And maybe they, they were trying to simulate that, that they sent Scruffy there. But Coley, I have no idea. Or like Rusty and the Wolder. Why did they include an Oliver? That also makes sense. Maybe Oliver was intended to be real in the Rusty and the Boulder episode. And maybe that's why they included him. But I'm not too sure. Gray Cranky. As we all know, Cranky was meant to be gray. And fun fact, that concept, concept art of Cranky being gray was put on the wooden railway model. And it still can be shown that it was gray. It, it's really a really weird prototype. White Roof Rusty. As we all know, Rusty, when he was made in 1992, he had a very white roof instead of the black one. It was later changed, but it's still a weird item, as, you know, we'll never see Rusty with a white roof ever, on, only on the wooden railway model. Wooden railway prototypes. As you all know, there are wooden railway prototypes. Some of them are quite weird, and some of them are cool. Nonetheless, I had to mention this. And those are layer one, or the sky, or the tip of the iceberg meaning that we're done with layer one so hope you guys hope like the very first part of the iceberg video part two will be coming soon see you guys later peace okay.